chest. One, two, three. We got our chill on. Oh, everybody. Everybody. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Today is another episode of Call the Wild the Angler with your host, I'm Bestafar, who has light sensitivity and autism in his background. But he's a good fisherman, I'll tell you what, and I'll tell you what else. He's got legends spawned, check it out, in both regions. And he is pretty ready to go do that. So today, We'll turn down the chill, and we'll just get right into the Golden Reserve first. Welcome to your day, everybody. I'm going to pour myself some coffee. Got my dog here. My sweet little man, Kirby. And he's a little Aussie. He's a sweet little dude. See, you can see him there in the back. Oh, little dude. What's up, little man? He's awesome. All right, enough distraction. Now, we're going to be catching Goldstein. Um, so, I guess that means that I better go up and see the store person. Because I need... I need crankbait for that. So let's go do that. Hello, butterfly. All right, storage, lures, crankbait. I've got a one and a two and a five. Let's take the five out. Let's put that one on. Let's take this uh, jerk bait out and make another spot for that too because it's actually fully leveled and it's worthwhile to go back and have a peek at what we did here I'll pull that off there for now um, while I look at it I'm going to find the second time we got Goldstein and see what we used So bear with me for just a second, team. Looking at all my screenshots of big fish <laughs> and pretty views. Oh, they're so pretty. <coughs> all right, well, that was a failed attempt right there. Here's the first one. And you can see I used like a crank Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's like a crank five. I think it was the, it was this one right here, this crank six. So I'm expecting either of these two to work, to be honest. And I want to pull him in on uh, when we look at what rods I've got. I want to pull him in on the scale. So I'm going to use a different reel here. I'm going to put the pure champion on which is currently sitting over here. So I've got to blank out my, my, uh, my big match rod for that. So let's just do that. And we'll blank four, go over here, we'll blank this, tell it it's gonna be this instead. Now we're gonna rebuild the stale with the pure, and let's put 15 on, right? Matches the green nicely. And let's put that crank two on, uh, or, you know, I think I was talking with Wedge on Discord this morning, and he used crank one um, successfully, I'm assuming, because he's a champ. Um, so let's just assume this is enough, right? Um, obviously, the Steo's got enough strength. The pure champion does not. <laughs> does not. But it will work. Um, so it makes for a good fish fight, right? Now, um, you know, 
here's let's just look at this one more time um, all these purple dots you see right here here and here are all former locations of Goldstein um, although I think this was a sidewinder this is a Goldstein and um, the two I've got sorry um, I only got sidewinder once I'm gonna point out that the toughest legend to get seems to be let you know clearly sidewinder but we're gonna go over here to the lumber mill we'll fast travel over here or here it doesn't matter here's fine somebody's already here fishing in and this is kind of fun fishing because um, the last time I bought Goldstein I couldn't hook him um, and he's in deep enough water that you don't see him unless he you know comes up to the surface takes a breath uh, of, of air goes back down etc so you find yourself standing on the bridge looking for him so you can cast out to him um, but once you see him and you cast out to him you've got a pretty good chance of getting him um, now the good news is uh, for anybody that's a player um, here I'll put him put him back out here He's a gorgeous fish. Um, he'll take crankbait. He's obviously a big bass. Um, so, you know, go out there and, um, and give it a haul. Look at this. I caught him on a non-pure champion. Um, it took me eight minutes and I used a crank six. This was the very first time I caught him and this was my biggest rig up at the time. So if you go in there with how I'm rigged up, which is quite a bit bigger, um, you know, we look. I've, I'm still going to use the stale, but I've upgraded to the pure champ, so it's you know it's got one more strength, I think, um, and better drag. But I'm leaving my uh, my bait casters aside. I've got the mediator and the true true, uh, you know, I've got the visionary director, and I've got plenty of money to buy the others, <laughs> but. I like the fish fight with the spin reel and that's what we're going to do. So let's get our fast travel on and I've seen this done a couple of different ways when it's at this location. Um, and I'm just going to share, this is one of my favorite spots, it's gorgeous out here. I built myself a loft apartment on the top floor up there and do fishing. <laughs> well, good morning to everybody. Today we've got a fun show. We're going to go to Legends. So hopefully we'll get lucky. He did spawn for us. It's, it's, uh, it's Goldstein. And first thing I do whenever I come out here is I just come out and look for him. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Working looks just like me. Hey, buddy. Welcome to my show. <laughs> I love the, the, the choice, buddy. Good job. Love the orange. Love the orange. Love the hat too. See how it's got the matching orange. You, look at look at best far. <laughs> Same get up. Except I got the cool shorts. You know, because I'm from the Pacific Northwest and we wear shorts all year. All right. So good luck to him and his catching. He's obviously playing the line now. I have seen Goldstein caught on both sides, but there he is. I can see him in the water over there. He's right at the center of my screen. I'm going to go ahead and get my my rod out so I can point to him. Oh, I can't point to him very well unless I cast, so let's not do that. Let's just go down there. I saw him right, right there in the middle. Right there, right there in the middle. Let's see if he comes up. Well, wait a minute. Or that's just a massive bass. 
So, you know, it pays to take time to look for him. Because if you're just getting, there he is, see, there he is. There he is. There's a better view of him, see, right there. So, we can fish from him from up here, but I don't see why we would. It's kind of hard to cast from right down there to that spot, but I'm going to. So that's how you play it, right? You look for him first. Look at him there. See the sun's on him there. That's awesome. Hello, big fella. Welcome to my stale rod and my crankbait. And he's right by the, the shore. I don't want my shadow to piss him off. See him right there, right there in the middle. He's got a little little uh, rainbow trout next to him. We're going to sit here and just watch him for a sec. See if he comes up again. Look at that. Just to give people a better glimpse of what he looks like, a little bit of his behavior. There he is. Look at that. And he's really quite big when he gets to the surface, right? So let's get out there. And let's see if we can crank that back now. Oh, it's so fast, see? I'm gonna have to put this way out in front of him. Like, there he is. I'll put it right out over the middle Oh, he just jumped for us. Did you see that? And that's awesome because that lets us know where he is. That's why you got to look for him, guys. So let's see if we can get him to... I'll drag this right past him. And we'll see if we get lucky. Not that time. See that? He didn't go for it. He, he didn't go for it. That's just so amazing to me. So we got to keep trying. And we got to keep track of where he is. And he's not that fast. So part of me just worries my cranks too fast. See, he's gone. He's gone. And it is just a beautiful little morning out here. See, you just be wondering, well, gosh, what do I got to do to get him? And it's a fun, fun challenge. So um, I want to open my handbook while we're not really actively going for him just yet. Let's look at it again. And I want, see how he takes popper, crank, and frog? Those are all, all uh, well, the two are top and one's not, right? But if you hit the tab and we go inspect him, he'll take worm, grub, shad, and tube, you know, but that's jigging for him. That's tough fishing. You know, so the, ne the only other one that I think that would be fun for us would be spinnerbait. Because um, it stays up in the water a little bit. Um, but everybody seems to be getting him on crank. So, you know, that's kind of why I'm in the position where I want to stay on crank. And I want to be able to see him. And I have caught him from up here. And this is a good place to be. See, he's right back down there in the middle. You can see him again. Right? So let's let's try and catch him from up here just because we can see him better. Right? This is as good a spot as any. It's a little close to the shoreline. But you can see he's right in the middle of the screen. So let's get that stale rod back out. Let's double check our rig up. We've got, of course, that, that crank one. Um, part of me feels like I want to put him on 
one with full XP on it, so I'm going to go ahead and try my two. Okay. We're going to watch one. I just want to get a more close cast for him. See how he just disappears into the nothingness? But he does come back up. What time of day is it? Oh no, it's afternoon. We're not going to see him for much longer. Boy, that's going to make me change which... <laughs> which legend I go for first today. Because you really can't be casting out into nothing. you got to put a crankbait right by him. Well, we're lucky we have seen him twice. He's been right down where I'm looking there, in the middle of that beautiful water. I'm going to go ahead and cast this out there, and I'm going to drag it back just to get a pull on. And I'm using uh, this rig up intentionally. I like this rod, and I, I've caught him with a weaker reel than this. He's just such a slow fish. He doesn't really move quickly, so if you don't put that crankbait right on him, I'm worried that it won't work. That's why I don't like fishing from up here. So it can be tough. It can be very tough to fish for, for Goldstein up here, especially in the dark, right? Like you can't see him. Look, this guy's still going for him there. Hopefully he's playing his own version of Goldstein there. Hopefully he's doing well. And for us, our Goldstein in my spawn is Hopefully, gonna, there he is, right there. See, I threw that right over the top of him. Hopefully, I can get him to take it. Doesn't look like he changed his behavior at all. See, there he is. Gotta get this out over top of him. All right, I pulled that down. He's right, right by my rod tip there. Looks like he's going for it. Come on, get lucky. Maybe not. Yep, see, you can see he he didn't make it to it. But he's in the same spot, so we'll just keep trying. I'll slow it down. right there see it is so hard to get him to take it
And that's why if you're out here cast into nowhere and you don't know where he is, it's even worse. But he might want that one, I don't know, geez. I just know that it's very, uh, very difficult to get him on. Makes, it makes me switch out what I use and try different things. But my crankbait one's got mostly XP, so I, I just would assume it's fine. I've scared him away with that. I'll put this back out there and reel it in again and see if I can bring him back up. if he's not at the surface he's down on the bottom I guess right so that's why the crankbait's going to be good for you if you can't see him but we have seen him a lot this morning crankbait is not working for me I am going to stop right here, and I'm going to reach out to a buddy on Discord. And see what people are using. Wow. Combination. People using frogs. That's good. That's good. And popper. That's good. That's good. That tells me it's acting like a bass. Which tells me I can use one of those. I'll see if I put him on a popper any time. I, I really just wasn't of mind that that's what he was capable of. Being pulled in with um, the top. And that means twitching. Or, I mean, uh, this. I do have a spinner bait, too, but gosh, a frog? I, I just would never have thought they'd he, we'd lure him in. Look, you can see another bass coming for it. And we'll catch him. Just to put XP on that little popper. I wonder, do I need a bigger popper? Probably. This is a quest popper I got for doing a, a quest in Norway. Do that again and just see if I can run that popper across the surface again. Do some twitch. Looks delicious to me down there in that water. I want to go get a frog. It's fun. Today we get to just try out what we want and see what's going to work. I'm certainly not seeing him in the water. So let's just run back real quick and go get a couple of tops. We'll grab a frog and we'll get an appropriate sized spinner 
or uh, appropriate size popper. All right, let's. We don't want this five. We would take the two. We don't need extra spinners. So let's put a big popper on. Four, five, six, four. Four is my biggest. This five is catching them. I would be so amazed if I caught them on a popper. I'm, this is blowing my mind a little. But somebody just posted catching him on a number four. Um, and I, on a four frog. So I could see that happening. Um, so I'm going to take that little guy. I'm going to take the five and this four. Because I've got this five. No XP on it. Oh, it's breaking my heart. Um, and no XP on this guy either. But I still have the crank, right? So maybe I take, you know, a fully leveled crankbait too, real quick. Like the five or the three. See, I've got the two. I just want to open up, you know, he should take these. So that's plenty of choice. That's plenty of choice. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to respawn him. We're going to respawn him. By coming in and out of the range. And there he is. So, let's go get started. And now we have a few more things in our bag that we can use. Did I spawn to the wrong spot? No. And what time is it in this one? Oh no, still late afternoon. But look, somebody else is now fishing for him, so... All good, all good. I really would love to catch him with a frog. Oh my gosh, that's making me happy. So I am going to spin him up. Let's get that rod ready. All right, let's put that four on. And this is a good rig up. And real quick, guys, I got to go to the restroom. I'm sorry, but I got to pee. So let's do that before we get all stressed out. Be right back. of gear to try out if shit's not working for us we're gonna have some fun by trying to actually talk him but you know like we did last time let's find him first let's see where he is and make a call he was right out here the last time we spawned obviously but he could be anywhere This is kind of a fun side because you can actually see in the water a little bit.
gives you a lot of room to fish. Seeing pike, seeing bass, seeing mountain whitefish, not seeing Goldstein. But he's in here. Last time, just you saw it, 20 minutes ago, he jumps right in front of us. It's like, you jerk. We'll just take our time. I suppose I could drag a number four across the surface or whatnot, but that's just not how I roll. I want to see him first so that I know I can toy around with that bait lure with him. This is my third show. I want to do it with him, right? I don't want to just get lucky. I'm going to lure him myself. And watch it. And that's him right out there. Right out there. Now we're going to go a little closer to the shore. Follow those rings back. He's right out in front of me. Hopefully. Got a big frog out there. So, let's twitch that frog, because he's right in front of me now, right where my hand is. I got to get it closer. I totally put that too far out. Too short. There he is in the water. You can see him, but he didn't take it. He didn't take it. I brought it in too quick. Oh, come on, Caster. All right, this is going to go right over him. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody just came around. I appreciate it. We're trying to catch the legend. He's right in front of us. And you know how it goes. Can't get him on the hook. And I saw people using a frog and I'm like, no, God, I should just stick with what I was doing, right? Stick with my crankbait. Because I do know he's right out in front of us. I just got to just get lucky. And crankbait's super easy to use, obviously. It just throw it out there and bring it back. But I was really hoping I could just get this. Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have him on. Because there isn't a bass that runs my pure champion like that. All right. All right. All right.
We got him on. We got him on. That was so perfect. And he's on his first run. I'm toying around with tension right now. Now, I've used a rushy reel and brought gold in, but it, it, it took like eight minutes. So it'll be interesting to see how the pure champion does with him. Um, but I did do use the stale rod last time, and I'm happy to do, use it this time because it's kind of my favorite rod. It's old school. And um, super cool. Let's put on some, uh, some new tunes. Not chill. We'll go straight out into, say... How about some dub? If I can find it. All right. All right, everybody. Good times, good times. So if you just joined, thank you for joining. And I want to share that I've got Goldstein on the reel right now. On the reel. Took us a little bit to get him hooked up. We got him hooked with a crankbait, number one. I threw it right over the top of his head. And just dragged it over him. And he went down for it. And it was a good strike. A good strike run. It was awesome. So this is really just me pulling it back from that first run. So you joined it a good time. Whoever that second viewer is. Welcome. All right, this is awesome. I'm a little far from the shore, but that's only because, that's only because where I was, right? Like here he is right here. Come on, boy. Come on. He's going to run again. Yeah, not surprised. Not surprised. Um... He has the cutest little wiggle because he's not very, very long. He's kind of chubby, Goldstein is. Anyway, so if you just got on, you know, I again, I appreciate your time. Welcome. Today's a fun day. We're doing legends, eh? Anyways, I'm far from the shore because when I got here, Goldstein was right near the shore and I didn't want to spook him. So I, I stayed back what felt like five feet or so from the shore. I gotta say, the Pure Champion's doing pretty good. It obviously is letting it run it out. Um, I could, could ride him a little harder, I suppose. But there's really no risk of him spooling me here, because I am getting a lot of line back when he gives in. You can see the pure champs already on top of him. Right there. Just right there. Just go, 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 yeah! It's kind of exciting to get a big heavy fish on. All right. First time chatter, where I caught it. Welcome aboard, buddy. Give you a little shout out. Happy to see you. Appreciate it. And it's a fun day, right? We got a, we got a, we got the legend on. I can't even take my hand off the keyboard or you know the mouse to, to chat because I'm, I'm doing the funnest thing possible. Oh, it just sucks that I'm so far from the shore, though. So, yeah, fish on. We got a legend on. And he's almost in. Here he is, getting big. There he is. Come on. Nice and easy, buddy. Nice and easy. Notice how I do not pull him in with, with pull-up. 
Alright. Ka-ching! Screenshot. You always get it. Hold on. <laughs> Let me make sure I look good. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Awesome, man. It's always nice. Oh, that's a great picture. Look at that. Oh, that's a good shot right there. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I just love it. I love it. I love it. That's such a beautiful picture right there. All right. Hey. It's so good to see you again, Goldstein. And we will meet again. We will meet again. All right. Yeah. All right. So that's like my third time getting him. And it's just such a total adrenaline rush. I highly encourage it for everybody. I, I want to mention... Um, something real quick because I, I took him on a little early in my little life <laughs> as a fisherman I think I can find the screenshot of him um, the first time I got him I'm going to show you how weak my gear was one second oh I wish this were just easier All right, we can take our time. It's not my fault there's thousands of fun pictures in here. <laughs> oh, here we go. So the very first time that I got Goldstein was this rig up. Notice how I have the rushing. You know, that's not, not as strong as the pure champs shown here. And I was still able to pull him in at eight, in eight minutes. Um, using the stale rod, right? Using a six crank. So again, you can totally take Goldstein on. He's he's not that heavy. Um, so you know, do it. He's he's you know what? Twelve kilograms. So as soon as you're able to fish for lake trout, come try Goldstein out when he's the legend for that week. With whatever rig up you're using for that lake trout just put a put the spin on and off you go right so that's that that's that so holy cow we just took care of goldstein everybody um and now what i can do is i can quickly um i'm gonna go on intermission again and i'm gonna you know go go celebrate with my dog real quick make sure he's in happy shape all right so bear with me as i I get us back to intermission. I'll turn up the tunes. RTFO. Yes. Right the fuck on. Hey, welcome aboard, buddy. So happy to see you join. We'll pin you up there. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and leave a picture of our catch-up real quick. I'm only going to take a couple of minutes, guys. I just got to check on my dog. Right? Yeah, look at this thing. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Yep, right back.
Alright. Let's get this show on the road. And we're back. So I'm working on a new live scene that, that's going to look a little bit like this. Except I'm going to have this border around it that is a live fish scene. It'll be really cool. All right, let's skip this song. Let's get ourselves moving. Got ourselves back out of here. We're going to go to GRR real quick. Oh my goodness. Left the coffee. Here we go, we got the coffee, got the coffee, got the coffee, got the coffee. All right, I'm not a coffee freak. Let's get that music turned down. All right. Okay. So, tell me more about yourself, right, Kodak? What are you up to? Do you play? And uh, while we're at it, let's just skip out and go to GRR. Or I mean uh, Norway, because Norway's got a legend as well. I think I think the Dominator's out. I think Kale Paul's out. Um, and that's a big sidewinder, or that excuse me, that's a big pike. So let's let's just see. I have a feeling he's right here, but I don't know, I don't know, it's possible he's over here, right, he, he could also be right here, so I'm going to take, <laughs> oh sweet, so, so Rykotic, it, make sure to friend me on Apex so that we can fish together. My ID is right up here, this Apex Connect ID. I'm best of far pound 9999. Hook yourself up uh, to me so that uh, when I'm online, you can come fish with me and join my stream. Um, or I can certainly come fish with you too, buddy. Um, so we'll definitely do some of that. Um, very fun to go fish with your buddy, for sure. Now, um, I want to pull up Discord because Oh, such beautiful fish here. I'm going to take a quick peek at the trophy gallery and see where this week's Kale Paul can be found. All right. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. All right. No, too, not too many spoilers, but I'm going to throw it up for you guys. Just if you watch my vid, you'll have a chance to, to see it. All right, we're going to go right here. So, uh, where is that, he says. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I was close. I was close. Still looking for it. There we are. He's right in here. Notice how far, far forward is looking for him. So we're gonna we're gonna put that waypoint right there for now. So he's down on that south lake, and we're now going to take a moment to see what the heck I used to catch him with. 
last time. It's been a while. He is humongous. So give me a sec. Look at this. Fishing with swim bait. And I had a heavy rig up. Still took six minutes. That's my rushy with the uh, visionary director right there. So we got to go in heavy. Because um, weight wise, he's 30 pounds. So, you know, you got to make sure you've got enough rod to hold that up. Um, I'm pretty sure the VD can handle it. But, but this rushy is not the strongest rushy. So let's, let's just look at that real quick, right? Before we do anything. Um, Cause actually, oh, look at this. Look at where I'm at. This is where I fish for salmon, everybody. And I left myself here on this, this rock. I'm right outside the main outpost. And we got ourselves a beautiful sunrise. Take a moment and take it in. It's awesome. This reserve is so pretty. All right, we got a long ways to go to go get it, though. And um, we got to get some swim bait. So let's fast travel back to the lodge. We'll go talk to Mr. Compass Head. I don't know what's going on. I can't run. Something's going on. Something's broken on my keyboard. Something's changed. I can't move. Hold on. I gotta fix this. That's fucked up. Why can't I run? Oh my god, this is gonna kill me if I can't run. Ah, uh, you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. I was crouched. Look. See the difference? Crouch? You can't crawl. Run. But it's not immediately apparent. I think that's a bug. Alright, we fixed it. Alright, here we go. Let's get ourselves a lure. We want this one right here. The five, I think. Although, if I caught him on the one, wouldn't or on the floaty, wouldn't that just be the shit? Got a six here. But I caught him on five last time. I've got a four done. I've got a three done. I've got a six. I think I'm going to use three. Makes me want to take the floaty. And try and catch him with the floaty. Let's do that. All right. So. All right. So let's see. The floaty. For you, Mr. Rykotic, um The floaty comes as part of a quest in the Norway region that I'm in now. He'll, this guy right here will give it to you. And the results of doing that quest give you this rod, the, we call it the stale, and it's awesome. And it gives you kind of a, a wimpy reel. Let me see if I can pull it up for you. Oh, they're not going to let me just look at it, are they? Without going into storage. Here it is. It's called the Hun. It's not very strong at five, but it, it but it pulls slowly. It'll put spinners right back down on the water, which is nice. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Let's just um, take a brief moment. This is really important, guys. Come on, this is social behavior. Autistic people don't generally have good social behavior. So why don't we just take a big screenshot of this real quick, right? 
Oh yeah, look at that big screen, big fish. Big, huge fish. And let's go back to the trophy gallery. See what I mean, guys? You gotta go to the trophy gallery. You gotta go, control V. And you say, bam. Right? That way, your crew, everybody you know, goes, best of far, that guy, he's coming in with the legend every week. Every week. All right. And he tells you how to catch it. There we go. All right. Sorry to be just completely dumb, but we had to take care of that. All right. Got this. Got this. Got this. All right. I, I feel like we got... Oh, I just want to use a different... I feel like that's just too big. I'm making room for one more. The one that we caught him with last time. All right, so rig up. Rig up. We're not going to use the stale. We're going to use the rushy. And the rushy is max line strength of 25 with a strength of 50. It should be strong enough. The visionary directors the, certainly should be strong enough. I could buy that top of the line reel. I just don't want to. But we're, we're not going to use a spinner. We're going to use Floydy at first. Wouldn't it be awesome if I caught him with Floydy? All right. So, anyways, good job, right here. I'll I'll uh, I'll friend you real quick. Good job. All right, everybody, we have a new friend. Where'd you go? Pending for any requests. There you go, buddy. Welcome aboard. Now, um, that'll, that'll mean we can join up, buddy, so we'll definitely do that. Now, getting back on track. Um, I was telling Rykik about that quest rod and reel, and the last item you get on that quest is Floydy which is this spoon right here or you know i call it a spoon but or not a spoon it's um a spin a spin bait all right backpack sorry 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 i'm not a fan of the interface fully because i don't i don't remember my short keys <laughs> very well all right so um floydy right here he is this humongous swim bait. Um, I feel like he was brought to the game simply to catch, simply to catch Kale Paul because very few fish take take swim bait. Very few. Um, so he's but and it's huge too. It's a one. And the end of the quest is catch a fish with Floydy and you know you're good. And I think I I pulled. Floydy in the water a thousand times before I got a fish to fucking take it. So, good luck with that. Let me know when you take that on. <laughs> All right. Let's get in the water. Let's get in the water. Look at all these people fishing for him, right? We do not want to be in the water with all those people. We do not. So, let's exit out. Let's get our own instance again. We'll wait a minute. You know what I could do? Let's see if uh, let's see if that gentleman I just friended is on. He is. See, I'll join his game real quick. He's in GRR. Let's go say hi. Let's figure out where he is. It'll take a minute for the server to sync up. As soon as we see him, he'll pop up as a yellow. All right, Rykotic, we're coming, buddy. Just waiting for the server to sync up. There you are, you're right over here fishing on the bridge. Be right there. A 
And this is how we hook up, Rick on it. Yeah, we'll get you in there, buddy. Yeah, let's go over and just say hi. There he is. Give you a chance to see me in person. See my sweet old man character. Looks like you've been bass fishing, buddy. There he is. All right, everybody, check it. Check it out. Welcome, new friend. Really appreciate it, handshake. So, I'm going to go over and work on, in Norway um, to catch that other legend. So, uh, for the time being, it's uh, see you later. I'm thankful. Nice to meet you. Really appreciate you take, jumping on today. That'll be fun to have somebody else hanging out on my, uh, on my streams. Starting to get more people. <laughs> So Rikotic, I spent a lot of time on the Player Council, on Discord, um, and I spent a lot of time testing the private builds of this version of this product to help them improve it. And uh, I can't talk about that, but I can tell you cool shit's coming. So that's why I'm not always on. But I want to leave my character logged right here so that I can come back and just do my stuff later. Now, let's get back over to the other reserve. And we're going to see what we can do to get over and get the Dominator. Not bad, we got our first legend in the first hour. All right, there we go. See, I get a little bit frustrated with this guy. What the heck? Do I gotta talk to you to get you to, you know, be ready for service? Hello? See? <laughs> He's lazy. All right. We're going to go over to see where he is, right here. Now, <coughs> part of the challenge at that location is that I've got to take a Jeep up to here or run down the mountain valley from here. So I generally will run down the valley. All right, let's go. And I actually am so vain, I will just cross the... Oh, let's just run. Jeez. These topside lakes are just full of fish. So, Rikotic. Best of far means grandpa. That's what I am. I'm a grandpa. I'm an angling grandpa. Do you have Discord? Rikotic, you need it if you don't. You'll use it quite a bit to ask questions and find things. All right, hands free running. Little bit of a hike to get down to this one. But we can get my boat once we're down there. Um, what language is it? Um, what language is what? Man, 
we've got a pretty sunset or sunrise this morning. Turns everything yellow. So pretty. Alright, now I gotta figure out how I cross this stream. Damn. Oh, yeah! Do you see that perfect jumping? That was just such calisthenics. Oh yeah, okay, so, so sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Um, best of far is what my children call me and what my grandchildren call me. Um, Cause best of far is Norwegian for grandpa. So it's just what I've called myself all these years as I got older. Um, my kids stopped calling me dad and started calling me Bestifar when they started having kids. So I've been called Bestifar a long time. So someone drove a Jeep down here. So yeah, I'm Norwegian. I'm an American Norwegian. I'm in Seattle. I'd like to introduce you to my boat, Big Orange. He's all juiced up. He's all juiced up. And you can see we're not going far. That waypoint's right there. But we are gonna fish from my boat. We are gonna remove that waypoint. And we're gonna turn this a little bit. Get a little bit further out, and let's just get out there on that boat. All right, Floydy. Now, <laughs> I joke. Floydy, Floydy is just so big. It's just so big. The, the Quest swim bait. It, but you would think that the, and it's huge, right? It's hook size one, but it's. If there's a fish that'll take swim bait, it's pike, and if there's a big pike, it's the legend. So you would think that Floydy should work on the legend, right? Am I making sense? Um, cool. Welcome to Washington, buddy. I'm in Kirkland. But I say Seattle, because no one knows where Kirkland is. Looks like Nabu might be working him right over there. got a fish on so I don't really know where to fish for this guy um, you know I'll be honest last time I got lucky I saw him over on the coast and I just cast it out to him um, so I'm a little uncertain I'm hopeful that he'll jump So I'm just looking for him right now. I hope Nabu's got him. So yeah, Rikotic, you're seeing some cool action for your first day. Um, I've been playing the game for hundreds and hundreds of hours now. Um, and I'm way leveled up. I'm 158. <laughs> There are players in the several hundreds, by the way, and we know of players that are over a thousand levels that are just catching fish nonstop. Um, the progression system is how you get points, and uh, you know, and how you get with the points you buy gear. And the better gear allows you to take on bigger fish. And 
He's still playing something over there. Look at that. I keep looking over there because I'm hopeful that I'll see him pull the fish out of the water and, and realize that he got his, his legend. But yeah, Kale Paul's big. So I think I might just start casting for him and just in all directions and see what I get. But I, I don't feel like I'm going to use Floydy. I really don't. I'm going to start with like this three and just go for it. See, he's still playing that over there. So I can just start casting and let that come. While we watch Nebu catch his legend, hopefully. One thing I do know is that Kale Paul, this legend, this you know, it's a pike, moves through the water quite a bit faster than Goldstein. <laughs> Goldstein looks like he's lazy. Boy, he's playing something long time over there. See, so I do feel like he's got his fish on. That's awesome. It's fun to watch him play. I'll ask him. Got him on Nebu. Whatever it is, it's fighting him right there by the front of the boat. Ask right there. Oh, also, sorry, I got a little zoned in. Let's take a peek at what he wants. See, this is why everybody's in swim bait. this first one. You know, again, it'd be so helpful to know where he is, but what choice do you have? So, uh, nice. I love Olympia. I drive through Olympia to get to, uh, to Mo Clips all the time. I spend a lot of time on our coast. Um, a lot of time at Beach, too. A lot of time in Mo Clips, um, Westport, etc. Anyways, Nebu, you're looking at the guy on my screen, Nebu, uh, for my viewers that watch my content. Nebu has been playing this fish for, he just said on the screen, for an hour an hour he's been playing it and that means that he's under geared right that means he went at it with not enough power
but at least he's trying and he's kept it on. So again, I, I want to encourage it, right? Like this is how you learn. You learn by getting spooled. Not school, spool. Anyways, we don't know where this guy is. He has certainly spawned here, clearly. Naboo's got him online. The one for us is here somewhere. And I'm gonna keep pulling for it in the hopes that I can lure him over by the boat. And I'll just hope that I get a peek at, at Naboo's action over there. I keep hoping I'm going to get a sight of, of him in the water. Last time he was right by the shore over there. Yeah, we live in a beautiful state, Rekotic, we do. I love our state. I, uh, except for that we've killed all our salmon. Pretty much. Not proud of that. I'm using three, so now I'm going to switch out and go to five. I caught him on this five last time. I think it's awesome that guy's been fighting that guy an hour. And for Rykic's, Rykotic's benefit, every player gets their own version of the legend so that every player can have a chance at him once you're high enough level it'll spawn in your instance. So he and I, you know, every player can come up to the location where he should be and it'll spawn for you separately than your buddy. So you can both get your own. There isn't just one. going to be a little bit of pulling for best far to get lucky and find him, I think. But, I am determined. Me too, buddy. Yeah. So that's just how that works. You know, it'll be a while before you're out here. You'll need gear for all that, right? But there's a lot to choose from, and there's, you know, there's bait rods, spin rods, and and uh, match rods for float, too, right? So there's just everything. And it's so pretty. I was really hoping I'd get a lot more lucky about where he is. I'm going to admit to a lot of hours of looking for legends. <laughs> I probably need to pull these in a little faster. Boy, I wish you took crankbait. 
Look at him, he's got the pull up now over there. That is awesome, he's all by himself. I should go coach him on. But he's doing good, he's doing really good. But we'll get a chance to see him. So why don't we go over there and just watch him for the benefit of my viewers and my content, etc. Let's just go help this guy. Give him some encouragement. Let him know we're cheering for him. really struggling with him. watching this guy and it just looks like he's just getting spooled each time a green one he doesn't know which one that's awesome I'm just wanting to show my viewer here a shot of him but because he is absolutely enormous in the water. It's just getting getting wrecked by him though, poor guy. really cool it's fun to watch another player um, with the legend on he's got he's had him on well over an hour makes me wonder how long I fought him and we're, we're certainly gonna gonna try for him if we see him in the water because um, he's popped for us too but we're going to hang out here and try and encourage Nebu. I think he's on his first time, right? <laughs> Welcoming on a second viewer. If you just joined, we've got uh, a couple of us out here watching Nebu catch Kale Paul, the Dominator. And if I see him in the water, I'll cast. And we'll get him as well. I'm going to go over here real quick on my other screen. And we'll pull up a picture of him again. Because he is so pretty. I got him at night once. And that screenshot was particularly neat. Because he kind of glowed. Here it is. See how that light shines on him? He's just so pretty. I've, uh, I'm obviously using the Visionary Director and the Rushy there, but it didn't take me very long. Seven minutes. Seven minutes to get him in. You know, that shows you that 
you gotta have, and he's he's not using the same green reel I am. He's using this one. He's using this one right here, the Pure Champ. Notice how it's strength of eight versus mine, which is strength of 15, right? <laughs> Big difference. Because it's basically spooling him every time the fish turns its head. About, oh, there it is, right in front of me now. There it is. There it is. You got it. You got it. Come on. You got it, buddy. Don't give up, buddy. Look at that guy. He's absolutely massive. See him just take line from him? Pull him in. Pull him in. Well, you got to see him, everybody. That was cool. Yeah, that's really neat. Really neat, for sure. That goes a really nice trout right there. All right, let's get back in the boat. He's doing just fine. Let's back out away from his action. Let's get in our own space. And let's just start spinning, I guess. It really would be nice if I had any clue where he was going to pop. I'm happy for this guy over here. He's really getting his first big run. Boy, when a fish takes you an hour to pull in, you have a new appreciation for reality. <laughs> All right. There you go, buddy. You just keep at it. You just keep at it. And best of is going to start pulling. All right, maybe best of far will get lucky and I'll get mine on the hook. It does, Steel, you know, steelhead buddy, they are such fighters. So, uh, you know, you get a steelhead on a very small bass rod or, you know, a trout rod and all of a sudden your reality has changed because that's 10 times heavier than trout, you know. <laughs> Plus, you're fishing in, you know, a uh, neat spots, you know, in rivers and... Steelhead, boy, that's that that needs to be added to the game right there. Just pulling. All right, well, this is now in another mode because now I'm hell bent on getting us our own and we will focus in on a couple of other 
aspects of this, make sure that lure stays in the water. And we gotta look for him at the surface to see if we can get lucky. <laughs> Nebu. <laughs> it cracks me up a little bit to see him continue to keep going. Realize he's been going on that since I got here. <laughs> Oh, poor guy. That'll teach him to use a spin reel on a legend, says the guy that's done it. <laughs> All right, come on now. Let's get a fish on. Not very deep where we are. I gotta pick this up. Going strong over there, buddy. like it needs some fish action. Oh, nice asp right there. Right there in the water. In on the prey. A lot easier to get Goldstein because we knew where he was. I always like it when he's on that bridge because it's super easy to see him. suck having a legend on the line
got him right by the boat there. He's pulling up perfect. He it looks like he's doing all the right things. He's going to get it. He's had it on the line all this time. That fish is exhausted. So it's not going to fight him if you can get it to the boat close enough to do a, a quick, uh, you know, a, a secure. We'll do some Discord check after this, just to make sure I'm honed in. Haven't seen him once on my spawn yet. What we can do, we could respawn me, my uh, my player too and respawn him again. But I don't I don't want to miss out on that Nebu's win. Boy, there's a, some big fish jumping out there. I am so hungry right now. Looks like brown trout jumping. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to respawn my instance. I just feel like I have missed out on where he is. We're going to keep trying it. Just a few more.
Yep, well, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to leave Nebu. What's going on? Why can't I get out of my boat? Oh my goodness. There you go. I really want him to get his fish. Look, you can see him playing it right out there. Look how big it is. It's as big as his boat. Seems like. This is a good spot to fish for that right here too. As you can see a little bit out above the water. Gives you a chance to cast across that line, you know, from a distance. Well, guys, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. We got a big one on. You. Yeah. All right, I'll bet you I get mine in before he does his. Fish on! Yeah, so now we get to see the, the, the visionary director do its work. Get that tension up a little higher. This is awesome. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. Got to persevere. Yeah, what made me think to cast back out across that line? That was really what did it. gets to see this second second one come in having a fun session doing a couple of legends today it's always a fun day to do legends maybe we'll get lucky and see him jump Oh, it's so awesome to be on this spot. I can't believe I got lucky. I got lucky. It's 
Same spot as last time. And he's making it in. Look at this. Look at this. We're taking line. Taking line. This is his first run, though, I'm going to point out. So if I get him close, it's very likely he's going to run again. And we haven't actually seen him, but clearly this is a big fish so I, I'm assuming it's him coming in hard now coming in hard ran all right I'm so happy happy we're gonna get our second chance at this guy look at him there he is in the water right there yeah you're getting to see some action today Rykotic pikes are one of the hardest fighting fish in the game for sure this is kind of the funnest legend the, the pike legend he ran again. I had him close. I sure wish I could see if it looks like Nebu is still working his right here, and I'm working mine right next to him. There he is. See, he's still got it. <laughs> Oh, good times, good times. Mine ran out into the middle of the lake. Oh, that's not good. Put some tension back on. Oh, just playing him hard. Look at that tension. Yeah, Rikotic, you picked the perfect day to just come hang because all I'm doing is legend. So it's, you know, it's fun to just hang out and focus on one thing. Definitely giving me a run for my money. Fish is on. What a fun episode. Second legend today. I don't know. My favorite legend, though, is Spielfeen, the salmon. Because I'm a salmon fisherman at heart. Oh, this is good. He's coming in good. He's coming in good. Look at that. He's coming in good. He's coming in good. He's right there. Oh, come on, baby. Here it is. 
Here it is. Bam! Cut your wing! Hello, baby! Oh, yeah! Love you, man. Not bad. Seven minutes. Not bad. Oh, look at that picture! Get that tail up. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's too much. It's too much. It's too much. All right. Good job. Good job. Okay. Back in the water with you. <laughs> and poor Nabu. Nabu is still working his, man. <laughs> So let it be a good lesson, though, right? You're gonna go, you're gonna go into situations where you don't have enough gear um, and strength, and this is gonna happen to you. So you know, but he's persevering, and he's gonna make it if he holds on. You know, as long as he doesn't doesn't uh, get spooled, he'll, he'll get it. So what a neat episode for I am best of far. We caught that legend right out here off this rock. Look at the view we had. Incredible. Incredible experience. Right? Super, super neat. And uh, as we do with all, all legends, we've got to post a picture in the trophy gallery. And what I'm going to do is I will reply to my own thread. If I can. Can I do that? More reply. Yes. And in that reply, I will uh, put the, the screenshot of our new boy. One second. One second. Sorry for all the work. Gotta show my friends all of our good effort. Look at that! Holy cow! That's one of the best pictures I've ever seen. Oh, that is so awesome. That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. And that's a really, really neat experience for us. It really is. Um, to have, you know, these big fish caught like this. Um, it was neat to be out here supporting another user, you know, catching his. Did he disappear? Did he log? Oh no, what happened to Nebu? Well, maybe we'll never know. But uh, it's obvious to me that um, we're all creating these neat experiences out here. And uh, it's time for us to, you know, take a moment and, and say thanks. I have just had the greatest couple of hours. I met a couple of new people. Uh, Rykotic, thanks for joining. Um, we caught two legends today. 
And I just want to say one very, very important thing to y'all. Bestafar is grateful for your time. Thank you so much. Find peace and love in your life.